Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have no, something, I have something for, you. for you. See, all in the all eye. In the Thank you, Thank Eivor. You, As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scarf. A kind of, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Tecla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? <laughs>
like Odin, like Odin. mead is my life my blood. Life blood. That was well drunk. drunk. Well, well done. Well, well drunk, drunk done. <laughs> Practicing your wordplay, word Elvis. Elvis. Ah, ah Eivor! <laughs> the, the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear I mockery. mockery! You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. Old friend. It is only it's natural only that I shall pass with you. How about oh, another, another lesson, lesson then? then? A quick flight. Right here, right, right now. now. What do you say? Do you say? Let's try flight. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy fighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall, I'll recall what you taught, what you taught ere, I ere I enter the fray. The fray. A, fine a fine answer, answer. Perfect, perfect rhyme, and a lovely, and a lovely cadence, cadence to match my line. Now, now, let us examine let meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than bending your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull, And I'll tell I'll you tell you've you nothing, nothing inside of your inside skull. Of ah, a yeah, good response. response. I, called I called you stupid, and you turned it around. No. Lighting about wit, you wit. matched my meaning. When you think, when you of, think of too many too perfect, perfect retorts, retorts, use the one that best that matches the meaning. Last one. Last one. So go so then and conquer and the conquer world with your wit. With your... Go be clever, be, be quick, be quick. Show, your show your spirit and grit. And grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward, I look forward to, becoming to becoming far more than you can bear. A good a rhyme, rhyme. But, a but a bad structure. Close, you're close. Your flighting's, close. Astounding. Your flighting's your astounding, your worthy of praise. praise. You swing a fine axe and, and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Aldous. I'll take the I'll lesson take the to lesson heart. To heart. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Swain. A few. Tovi says Tovi she is says trying out some new tattoos. She is? And she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's something, there something else? See you later, See you later sir. Sir. Sure. Sure. Swain. Swain. Let me go. Good. Good. See you. Sure. See you. sure. Can you point me to point some, me good, to hunting some good hunting grounds? I could. 
but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Mm -hmm. Something here you might like to see. Thunderclapper 4! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck will have it, I have one in God left for that young. You sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal lingots. I cannot force them from empty air. Should do it. Anything else? Go. How are you? How are you? Holding up? Holding up? Yeah, work yeah, is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are new and cold. My lady left me if you not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Five weeks. Five beautiful, passionate weeks, but all that I've done, will I never find my real death? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Kuna. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. Not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all, That's all for now. Return, Return in time. In time.
They must be finished now. The king has called for his best need, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I can wait out the storm a little longer. The king has called for his best meal. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stevior. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Githormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in blind sight. Day and night I toil to forge ties with plans to the Lord. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then you will understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Abraham. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Aaron. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, not a lord. A fate will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped Until it's clean, wiped clean. I, want I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. You're standing safe to decide him. He must like you. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. 
Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father! Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, Father, we will talk of Kyrgyz and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Niklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes towards Strengid. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts a new skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornburg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in hell. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volker? I did. And? It is not something I can speak of or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? 
When he crawls into bed to warn me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Python, is it? Yes. And you are able. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. A mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's meat. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. <laughs> You are Basil. You have a good memory. And you have no need. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basil. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest as we supply the time. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hagia of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your evening. and hard on the gifts worth it. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringo. Now drink. You have been away too long, brother. You do not know the spiced kick of Tekla's meat. Mm. It does have a new taste. I like it. It's good to have your backs again. Yeah. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now, I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapons for the finest warrior I know. Python is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? 
It is not about words a word. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and, and training. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade right on the underside of your arm. To conceal it from the target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion. A good start, Abel. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours has a name? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivered. There's a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent. Excellent. I have not seen not a blade, seen so, a blade sharp. so sharp. Some targets, Some targets are trickier, trickier than others. Than others. Keep that in Keep mind that in before mind you strike. strike. A, decent a decent attempt. attempt. Take that Take one that down, down from the down ledge. From the ledge. Leap down Leap upon down that upon target that from target above. From above. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air.
What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning to do. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join the Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship, our clan, our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. You flatter me, old kids. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that right around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrfeg. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The North may have spoken. You will betray us. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Hold him forward against the plate. It can be done. You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Kyotvis warriors. 